All right, so this was supposed to be an in-season tournament playoff video with Cedric Lewis. But um, yeah, as you see the standings here, uh, three teams, 3-1 three and one in the West A. Uh, so there are three groups. The top three winners of the groups get the first three spots in the in-season tournament, and then there's a wild card spot. So as you can see from here, we won our group. We clearly won our group. I don't know how the Lakers are second when they have a negative point differential, but we won our group. But yeah, if we go to the in-season tournament, we're not in it. The uh, Lakers got the wild card and the Suns won our group, even though we had the point differential over both of them. So we should have been the three seed and the Suns should have been the wild card. But no, of course, 2K adds something into the game and it's immediately broken. It's immediately broken. Why am I not surprised? We actually looking at it, we might have, we probably should, yeah, we should have the two seed. We had a plus 55 point differential and we were three and one. The Warriors are four and oh, so they get the one seed. The Nuggets got the two seed at 39 dip point differential. We should have the two seed. Where are the cases? This is not going to be a Cedric Lewis video. This is going to be a Gerald Johnson video. I just wanted to share that little tidbit on how bad 2K is. Before there was MP, there was Zion. Now, I'm not saying they're the same player. They're obviously not. But when you talk about the next LeBron James, when you talk about a guy who is going to change the game, you talk about a player like Zion. The things that this man is able to do at his size are almost unthinkable. I mean, how can a, a human that is that big get that high in the air? How can he run so fast? I mean, every time Zion takes the court, he shows you something you didn't think was possible, and he does it with ridiculous efficiency. But here's the thing. MP is every bit as effective as Zion. He's every bit the game changer that Zion is. And in my opinion, he has more promise and more natural ability than that mountain of a man. So I'm making the call. I'm moving MP above Zion in the got next tier of my GOAT rankings. You don't like it? Make your own rankings. But this is the Logan Bradley show. And on my show, I call it like I see it. So I have now officially moved past Zion Williamson in the GOAT progress. Next up is Jason Tatum. I have a feeling eventually when I win the championship, when I win MVP, um, I'm going to pass a lot of people. But our next key game is the single season assist record. We're on the cusp of breaking it. Let's go check how many we need. So I have a 1,141 assists. I need 25 assists in order to break the single season assist record record i'm at 1141 1164 yeah, i'm sorry i need 24 assists not 25 i need 24 assists to break the record that's possible um that is possible i'm not gonna break the points record that ain't happening we're going up against the knicks i think for the first time so far in this series so um they're 34 and 30 obviously i don't know if they're gonna where, where can i see the oh right here uh, the standings, we are 64 and 10, already clinched the playoff spot. We're going to be the one seed. Uh, the East, though. Oh, wait, no, this is the NBA. This ain't the East. Uh, the East, two and three is pretty close between Boston and Philly. And then four through six, definitely a competition. And then I think the Cavs are just stuck at seven. I ain't going to lie. But the Knicks are fighting for a play-in spot. They're tied for the eighth seed. So let's see if we can go break their hearts once again and beat them. Oh, they're also on a five-game winning streak. Sick. I also realized my camera was on all that whole time. Uh, there I am. Okay, perfect. Alrighty, here we go. The one seed. For, are they wearing... They're not wearing Nike jerseys. That's the first time I think I've seen uh, the CPU pick non-Nike jerseys or just not their normal jerseys. That's weird. Um, okay, well, probably because we're wearing black jerseys, but still. We're not looking to score here. We're looking to get assists. So up until... Unless I get those 24 assists... I ain't looking to score. Unless I get an open shot, uh, I ain't looking to score. I am going to be passing the rock. Uh, bam, and a bio with the steal. I have not touched this game in two weeks. Just an FYI. So if I may be rusty, but bam, you're going to be the main guy for my assist. I did not want to shoot that, but bam, nearly followed up. I went for a pump fake, but okay. Well, there's one shot attempt, and it absolutely bricked. Not only am I trying to make history here, as a rookie point guard breaking the single season assist record. But I also got to guard Jalen Brunson. 
Um, Bam out of bio does not get a clear shot. So guarding Jalen Brunson in itself is going to be tough enough. Bam out of bio gets me my third assist. Bam and Jimmy are going to be key to getting me these 24 assists. Caleb Martin, from last time I remember playing, is amazing from downtown. He's shooting like 56% from three. And that's why I have him in the starting lineup over Hero. Hero is our sixth man, and he's playing great at it. But Bam out of bio is going to be the main guy. That should have been an offensive foul. I ain't going to lie on Kevin Love. Kayla Martin, open for three. He's fading, and he bricks. He's over two so far. Oh, Jimmy Butler with the steal on the fast break. Caleb, keep cutting, keep cutting, keep cutting. Oh my God, that was kind of ruined, Caleb. You didn't, you didn't. I should have just went straight to the rack. I should have just went straight to the rack. Who's gonna be open? Uh, no one's really open, and I turned the ball over. First turnover of the game with seven assists. Jalen Brunson, and he drills it. Bam, let's remedy this. Bam, let's remedy this. That's an offensive foul, but they don't care. Bam at a bio. He has 12 points on perfect shooting tonight, and he has a sharpshooter takeover. 2K, are we serious? I've got nine assists. Let's see if we can grab that 10. Let's see if we can grab that 10. Bam at a bio. You know what to do. Cut to the paint. Bad shot, and he greens it. Bam at a bio. Gives Johnson his 10th assist, 14 away from the record, and Adebayo stays perfect on the night so far. Oh, Jimmy Butler's wide open in the corner, and he greens it. 13 assists for Johnson, 11 away. But Butler, I nearly stuttered. I did stutter. Butler hits the corner three. He's got, I think, five. Oh, my God, that should have been a steal, dude, and they're going to score off that. That 100% should have been a steal. 39 seconds left. Let's see if I can uh, crack 15, maybe? 15? Bam out of bio. Midi, he's still perfect on the night. Bam's got 20 points. 16.9 seconds left. Brunson's cooking, dude. Brunson is indeed cooking me right now. We're not going to hold for the last shot. We're going to try and get a, this assist right now. 15 first quarter assist. For Johnson, Bam out of Biles got 22 points on perfect shooting. Jalen Brunson is going to try and uh, go into the paint. Isaiah Hartenstein, deep mid range. He misses. 23 to 38 is your first quarter score. And obviously, since I activated my Mamba mentality takeover, I'm going to stay in the game. My question is depending on when I get subbed out, Brunson is cooking me, bro. He missed that. Depending on when I get subbed out, uh, can I possibly. Break the record in the first half. Johnson gets to the rack. That there once again, my uh, layup meter didn't pop up. But I mean, there is a chance I could break it in this first half. Nine more assists, but I don't think I'll play enough. They're calling a timeout. Jimmy's got 13 points. I have 18 assists. Let's see if they end up subbing me out. I'm assuming they're going to. Let's see. They are not. Oh, they did. Okay, never mind. I'm tripping. Alrighty. Let's see. We're up by 19. Five minutes left. I can definitely get six assists in five minutes, without a doubt. This is for assist number 20. Assist number 20, who will come by the hands of Bam Adebayo with the dunk. 20 assists, three to tie, four to break the record. UK is doing everything they can right now to make sure I don't break this record in this first half. I'm telling you, bro. They're doing everything they can right now. Right here. This should be an assist. It's not going to be, though. They're, they're starting to figure, uh, figure us out. They're starting to figure us out. Bam. There we go. There's number 22. Two more. Two more assists in three and a half minutes. Bam. 22 points on 11 of 11 shooting in the first quarter. Lord knows what he has now. There we go. This is where I can tie it. Bam. Where you at? Jimmy's not in the game, so you're my go-to right now. Bam at a bio. Pump fake driving. Bam at a bio. Ties the record. We're gonna, I guess we're getting a timeout for it. But Bam at a bio gives Johnson his 23rd assist and the record is tied. Alrighty, a little under three minutes. Can we get on this possession? If it was anyone else but Bam, it would feel wrong. Bam at a bio. To the paint. 24 assist. Gerald Johnson is your new NBA assist leader. For a season, he does it. There it is. 1,165 assists in a season 
for Johnson, 24 assists in the first half. I might be able to break the single game record in this game. First of all, I got to give a shout out to John Stockton. You look at that single season assist record and he's all over that thing. Like, it's incredible. I got all the respect in the world for you, John, for real. Uh, then I got to thank my teammates. If I don't make, if they don't make the shots, then I'm not coming anywhere close to this record. Truly could not have done this without them. Uh, finally, I just want to thank everyone who's important to me in my life, friends, family, my dad and, of course, my grandpa, coaches, uh, the front office staff, and obviously the fans. <laughs> this means nothing without you guys. So thank you. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Wow. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you. All right. That was a nice little cut scene. Good job, 2K. We already know they got that idea from when LeBron broke the uh career points record they got that idea from but not bad not bad now you guys aren't going to see much of this game anymore because one this video is already probably close to 10 minutes if not already 10 minutes and it's a blowout 25 seconds left 34 points 28 assists seven rebounds that like that's absurd to me that is absurd and make it 36 points to not round it off. 15 seconds left. Nick's probably going to look to score because it's 2K. But 28 assists. I could have broke the record. I chose not to. I wanted to score. And, I, you know, I can always make it another video breaking the assist record. They're actually not going to look to score. So the Miami Heat are going to come out victorious for the 65th win. And Gerald Johnson with another historic night. Final box score. I didn't even lead us in scoring. Bam at a bio. 38 points. 13 rebounds and 2 steals on 18 of 18 shooting. Brother did not miss a single shot or a single free throw. He was unbelievable. This is probably the greatest game of his career. Not missing a single shot anywhere. 2 for 2 from the free throw line, 18 of 18. He could have had the absolute perfect game if he didn't have a foul. But unbelievable. Johnson, obviously the story of the night. 36 points, 7 rebounds, 28 assists, breaking... The single season record for most assists in a season. Also had a block on the day. 15 to 19 from the field. 1 of 1 from downtown. 5 of 7 from the free throw line. Here off the bench gave us 16 points. 6 of 12 from the field. Jimmy in only 23 minutes gave us 15, 3, and 4. Uh, Duncan Robinson off the bench in his limited time. 14 points hit 4. 3 is very, very nice. Oh, Brunson dropped 53. Did not even notice that. He, I, he was giving me buckets. Did not know he was giving me that many buckets. Uh, his second leading scorer was Quentin Grimes with 13. They had like 90-something points as a team. They had 91 points, and Jalen Brunson was 53 of those. They were missing Julius Randle. Wow, that is uh, interesting. But when you're facing a team that shoots 67% from the field, yeah, you ain't going to win. Anyways, that's going to be for me. GG.